Okay. All right. Why don't you go to uh, Fox Chase uh, uh, Cancer Treatment of Philadelphia and go to a terminally ill patient and try to say to them, you're a lazy piece of shit. I know I'm not terminally ill, but uh, you can make that comparison. That comparison can be made. You're trying to say that I'm a lazy piece of shit. Why don't you go say that to somebody else who's sick? Why don't you go tell anybody else who's sick with an FMLA medical condition that crops to be out of work? Why don't you try to tell them that they're lazy and see how they feel? Okay? Why don't you call Bender and Bender and ask uh, 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 one representative, uh, you know, uh, how many cases they have and how depressed the, 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 those, ca the, those people in those cases are because they're disabled for the rest of their life. How about you try calling one of those people lazy? I'm sure then you would feel real shitty because there's people out there who have it ten times worse than I do, but I realize that I don't have it that bad, so I can still try to make it work for myself. I can still try to get better. I can still go get the physical therapy or the back surgery or whatever it's going to take to get better. That doesn't mean I'm lazy. That doesn't mean I'm withdrawn. That doesn't mean I'm unmotivated. It means there's a roadblock. And you and Ryan Maticola want to call that roadblock laziness, want to call it whatever you want to call it, go right the fuck ahead. Because I know where I stand. I'm, lazy. I'm confident in my decisions, my motivations, my movements, and how long or how short it's going to take me to progress in life. Because I'm confident with me being a beacon in the image of the light of the Lord. So if you have a problem with that, if you have a problem with, uh, you know, the problems that I'm going, if you have a problem with the problems that I'm going through, if, 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 if you need to let the stuff that I'm going through bother you so much to the point that you need to call me lazy and you need to uh, uh, speak nonsense, go right ahead, Sabrina, and speak all the nonsense you need to speak because it's not going to break my heart and it's not going to go through my chest and it's not going to protect me. Yes, it will go in one ear and right out the other because it's bullshit. And I won't stand for the bullshit, and I won't listen to it. I won't listen to it from you, I won't listen to it from Dijon, and I sure as hell will listen to it from Ryan. What I'm going to take care of is myself, because I am the only cheerleader. I can, I, sometimes you have to be a cheerleader for yourself, Sabrina. Sometimes you have to stand up for yourself in life, because there's going to be a bunch of other people that are going to wear sheep's clothing and try to tear you down. That is what Dijon tried to do. I believe that is what you are trying to do. And I'm ending this conversation. I am ending this conversation because I am not standing for it, Sabrina. I'm not standing for it. So go drink with John Gerhardt. Go do whatever you got to do to have a good time on the weekends. When you're so stressed out from work and you got to have a good time, but don't try to have your good time by telling me that, uh, you know, I'm lazy. Okay? Don't, don't, uh, yeah, glad you hung up.